Hello, my name is Martin Turner and I'm the author of Desktop Publishing with Cork Express. Uh, this is a series of videos running right the way through 2017, where week by week we're looking at key aspects of Cork Express and some of the things that makes it unique uh, by comparison with other software which is available. Well, uh, today is very exciting, though it's actually quite complicated, because today we're looking at job jackets, which is a, an extraordinarily powerful feature of Cork Express that, that really nothing else offers. But they are quite conceptually hard to understand. Once you've got your mind around them, they will serve you well for years to come and will uh, shorten your workflows and enable you to lay out uh, entire magazines in just a few minutes. We're not going to go that far today, but I'm going to begin with the same visual identity document that we were looking at last week. So we're back to Structive now, uh, Structive Structural Creativity. It was a startup company. Uh, and uh, this is their, their brand. And um, what I want to do is have a, a document or, or a structure for a document which will enable me, me to make brochures, flyers, posters, adverts, uh, any number of different kinds of things, and yet always be sure I have the right fonts, the right colors, uh, and various things like that. The answer to this, you might think, well, why not use a template? But a template then binds you to uh, A4 or A5 or whatever. Uh, and if you use an ad hoc template, which we've all done, where you take the last document you made for them and adjust it a little bit, then two things happen. One is that over time the brand drifts and you find that after 15 of those documents, uh, what you're doing is actually full of compromises you made because it, you were too busy to do it properly. And these have become baked in and the brand has become devalued. And, and certainly as a brand consultant, some of the brands I've, I've had to go in and rescue uh, have started out very well, very disciplined, but over time they've just become amorphous because everybody's had a hand in them. But the other side of using a, a, a previous document is, is, is that mistakes start to creep in. They can be very bad ones. So one of the most frequent ones is the, the first edition of a magazine for a new year. So imagine that you're in uh, I don't know, let's say we're in February or March and the first edition of the quarterly magazine's out. There's always one in December because they want to get the kind of crisps, Christmas one, one there. And now we're going for the, uh, the January, February, March edition. And uh, you take the template, you, you take the one you did last year, change everything, put everything in. And it goes to the printer and when it comes back, you look at it in horror because it still says 2016 on it. And I've seen this happen. I've, I've managed to rescue some even before it got to the printer. Uh, I think I've actually seen one come back from the printer with the wrong date on it. Uh, and I've heard about ones where they've gone out to staff uh, or worse still to a paying public with the wrong year on it. So that's not a good solution. But what is the right solution is job jacket. So let's go to the screen here. And uh, we've got... Um, the structure visual document here. We've got uh, over on the right hand of the screen, we've got the Pantone colors for structure. We've got uh, some, uh, 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 got some titles in the paragraph style sheets and the character style sheets, and that's ready to use for this one document. Now, what I want to do now is go to utilities and job jacket manager, and I've got a job jacket called Structive. And uh, I've got my file here, and you see it's created a, a job ticket to go with it. Now, what's a ticket? What's a jacket? A jacket is the folder in which everything about a particular client goes. A ticket is the instruction to do a particular job. Um, it's like the email you get saying, please, could you do us a four page brochure with all our standard fonts and colors and these uh, six photographs and this text. That's your ticket. The jacket's got everything in, including all the fonts and the, the colors, and maybe some pictures you use again and again, the logos and so on. So, um, in my project, I've got uh, the paragraph styles I created, uh, normal body text and title one, title three. I'm gonna move them into the ticket. So I'm taking them out of the project, putting them into the ticket. If I can now go to the jacket, you'll see they're in the jacket. Anything that goes into a ticket goes into a jacket. But if you want it in a new ticket, you've got to move it there. Well, I'm not quite finished there, so I'm going to go to my colors, go back to my file. Uh, I'm going to go to my colors. I'm going to move those into the ticket as well. Now, 
uh, you'll see that one colour's already gone in because it's been dragged in when I took a, a, a paragraph style sheet in which used that colour. So anything which is referenced uh, goes in automatically. I will just put the rest in. I don't need to put my CMYK in, they're always there. And again, I'm going to go to character style sheets. Uh, and in fact, they've all come into the ticket. That's good. So I've got colours, paragraph and style sheets. I could have table styles. I could take uh, bullets and numbering in. There's, there's lots of other things I could take in. But just for, for clarity for now, we'll stick with that. Now, I'm going to my job jacket and I see these things are in my job jacket. So I've got my character styles there. I'm going to come down to my uh, uh, paragraph styles and I'll see those in the job jacket. I'm going to go back up to my colours uh, and you'll see uh, that all of my colours uh, for Structive are in there. Now, I'm going to create a new ticket. So I'm going to go on the screen up to this plus and that's going to create, so here will be a new jacket. I want to create a new ticket. Uh, and we'll call this four page brochure. And um, I'm going to now look on here and you see everything's in the jacket, but it's not on the ticket. That means that if I create a new document with that ticket, uh, then uh, it won't actually include those things. I'm going to move those in now. In ticket, in ticket, in ticket, in ticket, in ticket, in ticket. I'm going to do the same thing with my paragraph styles. Um, so in ticket, in ticket, in ticket. I'm going to do the same thing with my character style sheets. And in fact, they're already in there. I'm going to save that. And we're going to do a new project from ticket. So uh, up here, file, new project from ticket. And it'll take a moment because it's going to look at all of those uh, job tickets and I'm going to go to my four page brochure select uh, and I've got share jacket now if I untick that it would mean that it, it basically creates a new ticket that so just uses it as a template if I share it any changes I make to the style sheets of the colors in this one get changed everywhere. And it's very useful if you're managing a consistent identity, particularly if you're doing 60 documents uh, at the beginning of an identity. It's dangerous if later on you want to start changing the main body text, which you should never do anyway. So know what you're doing with that. But I'm going to share it right now. Uh, and it creates a document. And uh, as you can see, all of my style sheets, uh, title zero, uh, have now come in there um, uh, and uh, all with the correct colors, etc. Now, uh, that's job jackets in essence. I can include all kinds of things in those, things that have come from the project into the ticket, into the jacket, back into the ticket, back into the project. But I can do more. Let's go to Utilities uh, uh, Job Jackets Manager again. And uh, this time I'm going to go to the jacket itself and I'm going to create, um, there are some things I can create here which I can't create in the project. One's a layout specification. So we're going to call this four page brochure. And uh, in my four page brochure, I'm going to say there will be a master page. Uh, and uh, on that master page, uh, I'm, I'm going to have a top margin of uh, 2.15 centimeters, uh, a bottom margin of uh, say 34 millimeters, just changing my units there, a left margin, actually let's make that a facing page, um, so an inside margin of 24, which let's call it 21.5, be consistent, and an outside margin of 10.5. And we're gonna make that uh, the default, make default, yes, uh, and we'll give the page count, we're going to say four pages, page width 210 millimeters, page height 297 millimeters, and that is going to be therefore A4. Let me go back to my ticket, and I'm now going to uh, put into the ticket uh, this um, uh, this specification. 
Um, okay, what am I looking for here? I'm just going to drag that down there so I can see it. Um, and uh, so we'll go back to that. So layout specification, yes, I've got that in. And now um, I'm going to want now layouts, that's it. I can't change the layout specification. So I'm now going to do plus and say layout one is a four page brochure. Uh, I could actually specify several layouts to all collect, create together. So if I'm doing a, a, an advertising campaign, I want buses, billboards, uh, and telephone kiosks, it can create all of these in one go. It's got a medium type print, and now it offers me the choice of layout specification my four page brochure. I'm gonna save that, close. Now let's do a new thing, a new project from Ticket. And we'll come down uh, to my four page brochure, uh, and bang, and what's happened here? Let's go to window, page layout, and we'll see that all of my pages have been created uh, with the margins which I specified. Now, that's pretty much all we've got time for right now, but I hope you can see the power of job jackets. There are many, many more things you can specify in a job jacket. My, my rule is that only specify what you have to specify. So if you've got colors, uh, typefaces, uh, maybe some table styles and some paragraph styles, then put those in. If you're going to use them again and again and again and again. Everything else create in the document itself. So if you've got a, a, a separate body style too, then have that in the project until you need it in the ticket. Because when you change that body style, uh, in your project, which is part of a ticket, part of a jacket, you change it for the entire ticket, for the entire jacket, therefore for every document which uses that. It can be very powerful, it can also be very dangerous, but working job jackets into your workflow could be, uh, once you've got your mind around them, once you've got your mind uh, taking stuff from the project into the ticket, from the ticket, therefore automatically into the jacket, taking it explicitly from the jacket into the ticket and then creating a new project from ticket. Once you've got that, you can manage 20 or 30 different visual identities for different clients and always get the right identity with the right fonts, the right table styles, the right conditional styles, and so on. It's very powerful. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, if that's a bit unclear, it is explained in much more depth in the book. It's Quark, Desktop Publishing with Quark Express uh, 2016. You can get that uh, from Amazon, your, lo your local bookstore. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I look forward to seeing you next time.